Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And this morning, I'm going to be cooking Marks and Spencer's Bakery Belgium Chocolate Twists. These are really nice, and as you can see, they're like they're pastry, so they're cooking from scratch. They're frozen, they come from the freezer, and they're from Marks and Spencer's. And as you can see, I, I actually bought these for filming, but I they were so yummy and delicious that the other five vanished before I could get to them. So, going to be cooking the last two. I'm also going to be doing some bacon for bacon sandwiches, which if I go in the fridge here, here we are. Bacon for bacon sandwiches. I'm going to have to cook the whole lot because it goes off yesterday or today. Yeah, yesterday, I think. Anyway, so fantastic. Let's get it uh, cooking. And as you can see, I'm still on my dressing gown because it's such a stupid early time in the morning. I never knew there was another nine o'clock. What the hell's going on? So here we are. I'm going to quickly put some foil down. And whoops, I haven't put the oven on. Now, let's see what little, these little things, what temperature these little things like to pick out. Now we're getting a closer look at them. 109 uh, electric fan oven, 170. Okay, so 170 gas mark five. There we go. The oven's on 170. And then let's get a bit of foil. Oh, this bit of foil looks like it's going to do both jobs. Put that down there. Let's have a look at these and see what they look like. Maybe you can see that. But they appear to have some sort of filling inside them and they're pastry and they're twisted all the way around. Let's pop them on there. And then for the bacon, I guess, I'm just gonna pop it on there and let the oven sort it out. I've also got some rolls to go with the bacon as well. So, oh, here we go. Yummy bacon. I guess the only thing I've been making with these really is bacon sandwiches. Oh. I need to organize these better. Oh. I want crispy bacon, so I'm gonna have to try and space them out a little. I find doing them in the frying pan I find doing them on the George Foreman grill these days is causing too much mess. Um, Got to say, I'm having to clean the bottom of the George Foreman grill where it leaks over as much as I'm cleaning the top, which is annoying. So putting something in the oven, draining the fat off this tray and then putting the tray in the washing up bowl is far easier. Bit of a fail by the old George Foreman there, wouldn't you say? To be honest, I don't even know why I'm bothering with it. I keep getting one getting my tassels from my dressing gown in my food. There we go, that's a totally thoroughly awful job of laying that out. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Lots of bacon. All right, so here's what these look like. Let's go put them in the oven. Nope, I've got to wait for the oven to heat up. Although I could do condone putting ready cooked food in the oven before it's warmed up, chilled ready cooked food. This is a pastry which needs to go to the correct temperature immediately. So this one you will have to wait. Things like pucker pies, um, heating like fried chicken and even pizzas. I'll put them in the oven as soon as the oven is on and save myself a little bit of electricity. Because the electricity price is so crazy, I've just woken up, it's like just like almost 10 o'clock in the morning, and we've already used a pound's worth of electricity and nobody's done anything in the house yet. Of course, there's a 39p standing charge, but at the moment, the prices are pretty ludicrous. Don't know how you guys feel about them, but I feel it's pretty crappy. But the government is helping out. Although, to be honest, I think they'd be better directed, the um, directing the, uh, what's it called, the compensation they're paying to everybody to people that actually need it and save money because 
to be quite frank, I can afford the higher electricity prices and many people can and those people should be the ones getting the help instead of me getting 60 pounds a month. I, to be frank, probably don't need. You know, I can tighten a few things here, tighten a few things there and easily find the 60 pound a month. It's not a problem. But there are people out there that would probably be better with the price of everything else going up having 120 pounds rather than 60 and they could probably do with the money better. It's not a political thing, it's just a logic thing. Um, I'm never going to talk about politics on this channel, just practicality, and that one I think is a practicality. But somebody to point out to me that means testing it would cost a lot and just giving it to everybody is cheaper and quicker. And that I understand the paperwork trail. So anyway, the oven will be ready soon. I'll show myself putting these in, okay? And of course the bread, ah, the bread, the bread, the bread. This is the one we're having. We're having Paul Hollywood again and his crusty rolls. Why does that sound so bad? Why does it sound so bad? Wait, cool. Crusty rolls. rolls. Yep, crusty Wait, rolls. Crusty rolls. I know it sounds bad. It's not crusty jugglers, don't worry. Those crusty jugglers. So I thought I thought it was crusty like in uh, I grew I grew up like, in a I grew up in a town which had crusty jugglers every day. Every day you went what? to the centre of town you saw crusty jugglers. Okay? Okay, the oven's up to temperature, and in they go. Now I need to look up the cooking time. I never look up the cooking time. Now I know the rolls are 10 minutes. Uh, this thing has a cooking time of 33 to 35 minutes. Wow. Alexa, start timer, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Sorry if you have an Alexa. Um, if you do have an Alexa, Alexa, play Old Town Road. It's rising. Sorry, I. Well, that's still cooking. Ta da! The bacon's done. I've taken that out, and the bread rolls are just going in. That's just going to take a few seconds. At the moment, you're going to carry on uh, watching this one. Pride music, so I just thought I'd hum a little bit ahead of schedule. Alexa, how long left on timer? You have eight minutes left on your 30 minute timer. Alexa, cancel timer. So we're a little bit ahead of time, but look, I'm gonna only give it like another three, four minutes. It's really close. Um, the bread rolls are they're there, right? They're coming out. Give them a little squeeze if they're crunchy on the outside. They're good. Look at those. Yeah, they're good. Definitely good. So, just a couple more minutes on those. Perfect. So, let's quickly do these uh, bacon rolls for me and the mini million. My assistant is, of course, getting the onions. Right, so first of all, ooh, there we go. Bacon rolls, bacon rolls. Uh, two or three pieces of bacon per roll. It's small bits of bacon, let's go with three. Da, 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 da. Or is that too much? Uh, don't know, it might be too much. Let's just see. Can you ever have too much bacon? That is the question. I think the answer might be no. Ah, there we go. Those look really good, don't they? All right, let's cut the other rolls. I'm getting crumbs everywhere, but this isn't really going to matter. The bacon's going straight in here. I think these are going to be mine because they're going to have even more in. But I don't like tomato ketchup in my bacon rolls. Now, this is blaspheming to a lot of you out there, I imagine. But this one looks like it's having four in each roll. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Poking out all over the place. There we go. Wow, look at that. Huge bacon roll. And there we go. Uh, 
last of all. Oop, I need to get the oven glove. There we go. Oven glove taking it away. And in comes the absolute yumminess before it burns to a crisp. There we are. Mmm, look at them. Absolutely yummy. I'm not going to touch them with this because it's covered in bacon. I've got to turn the oven off because cooking this cost me 35, uh, sorry, 45 pence worth of electricity. Just to give you a hint of how much uh, having the oven on for half an hour at four kilowatts was uh, around 45 p's worth of electricity. Obviously the oven isn't on all the time. It has a thermostat and a timer. Mm, there we go. Belgian chocolate, butter, oh, everything that makes one joyful and yummy. Look at that. Right, I'm not, I, I've tasted these before. They are just sublime. The Belgian chocolate is melting your mouth. The butter is just everywhere. They, they are just amazing. Definitely, definitely worth trying. Uh, I'm really, you know, just, uh, assistant, food. I'm pretty sure she's coming, so. In the meantime, I'm gonna quickly take a bite of this wonderful overly bacon broil. Mmm. Mmm. That is so yummy. Your food. Hmm, thanks for watching. If you like what we do here, please subscribe and mmm, we can get off and eat our breakfast now. Thank you. Bye.